Understanding Engine Throttle, an essential guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating term often heard in the context of vehicles and machinery, engine throttle. This phrase might sound complex, but by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how it's used. So, let's dive in and demystify engine throttle together. The term engine throttle refers to a mechanism that manages the flow of fuel and air into an engine. Think of it as a gatekeeper that controls how much power the engine generates. When you increase the throttle, more fuel and air are allowed into the engine, making it run faster and more powerfully. Conversely, decreasing the throttle reduces this flow, slowing down the engine. This concept is crucial in vehicles like cars, motorcycles, and even airplanes. In everyday vehicles, like cars and motorcycles, the throttle is typically linked to the accelerator pedal or handle. When you press the accelerator, you're actually controlling the throttle. Pressing down harder increases the throttle, causing the vehicle to speed up. Lifting your foot reduces the throttle, slowing the vehicle down. Understanding this relationship is key for drivers and enthusiasts alike. In aviation, the concept of the throttle is similar but operates on a larger scale. Pilots use the throttle to control the power of the aircraft's engines, affecting speed and altitude. The principle also applies to other machinery, like lawnmowers and generators, where controlling the engine's power is crucial for efficient operation. In everyday English, throttle has also made its way into common phrases. For instance, full throttle means to do something with maximum energy or force. Similarly, throttling back refers to reducing effort or intensity. These expressions are metaphorical extensions of the literal meaning of controlling engine power. And that's it. We hope this video has helped clarify what engine throttle means and how it's used in both literal and metaphorical contexts. Remember, understanding such terms not only helps in language learning but also broadens your knowledge of how things work. Keep exploring, and see you in our next video.